Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1980 to listen to Cul-de-Sac and Please Don't Ask by Genesis. Definitely excited to be getting back into the Duke album, uh, Cul-de-Sac, written by Tony Banks, and Please Don't Ask, written by Phil Collins, and apparently has a Beach Boys feel to it. So let's see what they're all about. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. We got down. This is the time you for.
Oh, I cry a bit I don't sleep too good But I'm fine pretty beautiful that second song but very very sad of course i already know what it's about wow interesting two songs to continue this journey of duke cul-de-sac really interesting didn't think it was bad at all just you know very different this is one that would take many many listens to see what i think about it but i caught a lot on first listen we start off with this gentle piano i think it's an electric piano really nice sounding uh, what really struck me, there's touches of darkness throughout the song, over and over and over, you know. It sounds somewhat happy. Then we get a second of sadness, darkness, then happy, 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 darkness, just throughout the whole song. Really, really interesting. Uh, we get some big, booming drums with some explosive noises in the beginning. Of course, Phil doing some amazing drumming there. Uh, I love the slow beat and groove to the song. And as far as Phil's voice, we definitely got two sides here. You know, we got the soft, gentle voice and the urgent, booming vocals that he's so known for to express, you know, these deep, deep meanings in the chorus. Really, really interesting. He's always successful at vocal delivery. You know, I have a pretty good feeling that this song is a mixture of, you know, Genesis 
and Phil Collins solo and Tony Banks solo all put into one song. That's why it's kind of, you know, standing apart from the rest. Uh, we got a majestic and regal feel at certain times in the song. I love that short, playful, lighter interlude that we got. Didn't last too long, maybe 10, 20 seconds. Was a welcome change in the song. I can tell we have some grand storytelling going on here, you know. The song was very expressive, but then mellow at the same time. A lot of duality going on with this one, both, you know, musically and probably lyrically. Mixed emotions for sure in the song. Um, I definitely got a battle feel, like, you know, good versus evil, light versus dark. Really interesting there. I think my favorite part of the song was the end section, maybe the last 15 seconds. A very Genesis type melody going on and you know, very, very captivating. I was zoned right in. And then surprisingly, we got a lovely happy ending that was unexpected, but then it shows that the good side probably won this battle. All right, now let's move on to Please Don't Ask. You know, as soon as that piano melody started, I instantly knew we were getting a sad, sad heartbreak song. You know, they put you right in that pocket instantly. It was dreamy yet dreary at the same time, if that makes sense. I love the subtle piano throughout the song. It came in gently on the right a few times. Just perfection to my ears. To me, that chorus was a very Phil solo career type of chorus. It was very pleasing and dramatic, but I heard deep sadness in Phil's vocals. This one's definitely a lay on the bed and cry type of song. Um, I heard shades of many of his solo love songs here. I'd have to listen over and over to see what shades I get, but I heard things like Do You Remember, Separate Lives, and probably many other love songs, heartache songs. He has many and he does them so well. This one definitely got me a bit emotional, a tad teary, and so they were very successful in presenting, you know, the feelings of sorrow and regret through the music and through the vocals here. Okay, let's talk about the lyrics. We'll start with cul-de-sac. The lyrics can apply to many pairs of dueling groups, but I can't help but see it as a final battle between God and the devil and their armies. Of course, good will prevail, and the misplaced arrogance of Hell's army will soon be shattered as they are blindsided and defeated. And to me, Please Don't Ask is a song from the point of view of a broken-hearted man whose relationship has ended. He, with uncertainty, still desires for them to reconcile. He remains respectful to her, especially for the children's sake. He just wants the best for everyone involved. Yeah, so definitely enjoy these two. Uh, still lots of musical and sonic goodness and richness. Um, great vocals, great lyrics, interesting concepts. You know, a lot of duality in both songs. I'm going to give Cul de Sac four golden records. Yes, that's an A minus. And please don't ask five golden records, an A slash A plus by Genesis 1980. Thank you so much, Phil, Mike, and Tony. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about these two songs. I would love to know your opinions on them. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.